Hello everyone, Eric Neon's Crazy here, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Now, um, this is gonna be the next Let's Play I'm gonna be doing for a while, and, uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing Chrono Trigger, and uh, I'm still gonna be doing Chrono Trigger New Game Plus content, don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing that, but I just decided that, you know, I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna start the, the next Let's Play first, before I, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll have the next, uh, the Chrono Trigger New Game Plus, uh, video up next, uh, after this video, but, um, um, anyways, uh, Final Fantasy VII, considered to be one of the best RPGs ever made by a lot of people. Now, me personally, I really love this game, but I, it's kind of split for me, to be honest, that... I love this game, and I also love Final Fantasy VI. Both are amazing games. You should, if you haven't played those, play them. Good games. Yeah. Um, now I'll, I'll probably do a let's play of, you know, all the Final Fantasy games, but, you know, Final Fantasy VII, because I, it's been a few years since, you know, I played this game, and I just decided, you know, why not play it again, but this time on my YouTube channel that I have now, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, yeah, so, um, after, oh yeah, also, oh yeah, I forgot to say this, also, after, uh, I'm done with the Chrono Trigger Let's Play, I mean, Chrono Trigger, uh, New Game Plus stuff, I'll have, uh, I'll start up another Let's Play, so, yeah, I'll be doing two Let's Plays, like this one and another one simultaneously, um, which game, I, what game will I be doing for the second Let's Play, I, I don't know. I don't know, I might have a straw poll for the next game, I'm, I'm not sure, but, I don't know, maybe a Shin Megami Tensei game, I'm not sure, but I might have another straw poll for it, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, wait, uh, oh no, but, wait, no, um, I'm playing this game, I'm, oh yeah, I forgot, I'm, I'm playing this, uh, I'm playing the Steam version of this game, if you couldn't tell by the little pop-up at the top right of the screen, you know, started the video, but yeah, I'm playing the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII, because it's the, um, it's easiest for me to record, you know, because, well, not easy, well, you know, I, I, it's easy to record, and, um, it has, uh, it's the same game, it's the same exact game as the PS1 version, except with sharper graphics, and, um, and achievements. And I think better frame rates in some places. I think like the menus and the the menus and uh, th this opening played like 60 frames per second. That's it. But hey, I guess better than nothing. I, I don't think it'll show up in the recording since I'm recording this at 60 frames per. I mean 30 frames per second. All right. Sorry about that cut there, but uh, uh, oh yes, uh, th those were the opening credits and that was the logo. Uh, um, I'm not really. I, what I meant to say was I'm not really gonna, uh, 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 record this at 60 frames per second, because there's not really any point to. The only thing that runs at 60 frames per second, other than this opening, is, like I said, the menus, and, you know, we're barely in the menus. So, well, what would be the point? The, most of the game runs at 30 or 15 frames per second, so, yeah. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the game. Oh yeah, there's also cloud saving in this version, if you want. But, yeah, I've, I've, I've already, uh, played the game a bit, or, you know, this version, so I have a save file, but... I'm gonna do a new game. And we start off with a CG cutscene that was pretty revolutionary for... A, uh, 1997, I mean, back, back then, this, this was really, really good. I mean, blew people's minds, it was like, whoa, what is this? I didn't know video games could do this. I mean, you know, it doesn't look very good by, you know, today's standards, but I mean, it, back then, it was really amazing, really revolutionary. And, um, yeah, so, this is cool scenes, lots of stars. And a, and a lady. Oh yeah, just, oh yeah, by the way, so you guys know, I'm not gonna be spoiling anything in this Let's Play, because there might be people 
who are watching this let's play that haven't played final fantasy 7 and i don't want to ruin it for them and you're probably like who hasn't heard it play their scene of final fantasy 7 well there are some people probably <laughs> so you know just just you know in case I'm, I'm not gonna be spoiling anything so yeah i mean i mean if you know what happens like most people but you know i'm pretty sure we all know what happens in this game but you know you just you know people who haven't played the game i'm not gonna spoil anything and there's our logo final fantasy 7 and there's our uh just closed off town world place I don't know, I, I'm contemplating, I don't know if I'll, what I'll do for this let's play, I'm thinking about maybe doing 100% for this let's play, or as 100% as you can get, like maybe all skills, if you know what I mean, and um, items and stuff, equipment, I don't know, not sure, I don't know if I'll just play this game casually, but I'll try to get, I, I don't know, but I'll try to get most, I don't know if I'll get most of the items though. There's a lot of minor items that, you know, kind of, you know, easy to miss and, you know, aren't really that good. But you gotta go out your way for But now we start off and we have poorly rendered 3D polygons. Okay, now, these character models that everyone looks like freaking Popeye, but, I mean, come on, newcomer, follow me. Now, I mean, today, I mean, for the PS1, these models don't look very good. I mean, they in Final Fantasy VIII, they you know made the overworld resolute. I mean, overworld or outside of battle uh, sprites or models, you know, way more high definition. But for this game, it's just you know pipe cleaners and two uh, two balls thingies attached to pipe cleaners, and that's it for arms. And, but in, uh, oh, critical hit on the first, first attack, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. But, um, you know, in, in battle they have more in-depth, in-depth, uh, models. <laughs> right, XP. Now, um, the models don't really bother me. I mean, it's all about the gameplay, right? But, you know, I, some people give... <laughs> There's some people who are really bothered by the uh, models, and they're like, I can't enjoy the game because these models aren't high definition. Well, I mean, this is the first, I think, one of the first times, you know, like, earlier PS1 games, kind of, I guess, maybe. And, you know, they haven't really known the full extent of the technology and stuff, and, you know, I mean, it's good for the time, like I said, but, I mean, I, it doesn't bother me. Some people are bothered by the models, but, you know, not me. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. I'll stop talking now, by the way. Probably like, just get on with the game. Alright, I will. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He wasn't Soldier, Jesse. But he quit and he's with us now. Yes, I'm with the cool kids. I didn't catch your name. Clad Strife. Yeah, I'm gonna keep... Snap, I gotta turn down the volume a bit. Uh, I'm gonna keep all the default names. Cloud. Now I could change it, but you know, it makes the story more impactful and you know better if I have the you know the names, you know the the canon you know default names. So yeah, I mean I could if I really wanted to I could just put my name, but I'm gonna keep Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm. I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Cause I'm cool. What the hell are you doing? I thought you never. I you ne I, I thought. Dang it! I thought I told you to never move in a group. Targets the I'm I'm looking at my screen at like an angle, so it's kinda hard to read a bit. Or targets the North Mako reactor. We'll meet at the bridge in front of it. Alright, now finally open that door after seven hours. Exiliter, huh? I don't trust you. And you get to name our second character, whose name is Mr. T I mean Barry. I mean he does look like Mr. T to a T. See what I did there? Okay, now I'm sorry. Uh, never make a joke like that again, I swear. Please press the directional buttons while pressing cancel to run. Oh, thanks. Or X in the PS1, on the PS1 controller. And there's our reactor we're trying to blow up, so let's get in there. Right, there's, uh, there's Biggs just roaming around. Nothing here. You can run into encounters, though, but no treasure or anything, so, yeah. 
Alright, you've got, uh, another generic soldier and a cat tentacle monster. He bite you and use his tentacles. But I critical hit him. Wow, I'm getting kind of lucky. Like two, three, I think like two critical hits so far? Wow, that's pretty good. I mean, the first hit I did was a critical hit. It's pretty impressive. Alright, now we're on the bridge. Now, Wedge is just gonna stay behind by this door, doing stuff. I'll secure our escape pass. Did she concentrate on the mission cloud? Yeah, more like just sit there. I'll, I'll stay out of the danger, because uh, I don't want to get killed. Jeez, we're really gonna blow this huge furnace up? That'll be something to see. Yeah, alright, that's how you say. Boy, alright. Now, let's continue on with everyone else. Oh yeah, I think there's a- yeah, there's a new enemy here. I don't know if I'll get all the enemies in, or show all the enemies in this game, but I'll probably show most of them. If there's some rare encounters, yeah, I'll probably show a lot most of the enemies. Warning, warning. You can see there's an enemy back there. Um, it's not really tough, I mean, it can- all it does is just go warning, warning, and it, it can cast fire on you and attack you. For one damage, but fire isn't really doing, doesn't really do that much. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I also have magic, so I might as well show that off. I have bolt magic. Bolt and ice. So defeated him. You could, you kill him, you know, in a one hit with a physical attack also, but I just use magic because, you know, magic is cool. Alright. Yo, this is your first time in Reactor? Not today. No, after all, I did with Krishinri, you know. Yeah, I did. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the life of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out of these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it, because I'm cool, Cloud. Alright, you've come with me from now on. Alright, come inside me. Alright, okay, that's sounding wrong. But we have, uh, Barrett fuses with us and joins our party. And he's pretty much a, you know, physical attacker, pretty much. You can put magic on him, like... Well, the thing about this game is, you know, a lot of the party members are pretty, you know, like, well, not maybe not all of them, but most of them are pretty diverse. I mean, you can make them a physical tanker, a, a magic user, you know, or, you know, or both, you know, make them pretty good physical attackers and magic users. Yeah, it's just so much diverse, you know, you know, customization in this game. That's probably, like, one of the main reasons it's, you know, one of the best, because it's got so much customization and, you know, skills and stuff like that. Big set, and now I got a code for this door. Code deciphered. Alright. Think of how many people risked their lives just for this code. Think of how many people have risked their lives for this code that I just... I... I got from this random guy in the alley. Alright, sorry about that. Cut there, I'm back. Alright. Um. Got some of that. Um, Phoenix down, alright. Push that button over there. Switch on. I'm drinking some right now, by the way, all right. Little by little, reactors drain out all the life, and it'll out be that, then that, then that will be that. It's not my problem. I'm just here for the cash, because I'm cool. Kinda emo. Oh. <coughs> the plan is dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and robo guards go. <sighs> Damn it all. Come inside me. Uh, not in the not in the suggestive way, though. All right. There's nothing up there. It's just th that's just there for decoration. You can go up the ladder, but there's nothing, you know, in that little uh, water tower, whatever that is. All right, new enemy. Uh, um. Uh, I I've got. Oh yeah, you, okay. No wait, no, that doesn't tell me. Alright. I think these guys are weak against Bolt. I think. I'm gonna try. Alright. 
not that guy's not tough. Doesn't do anything really. None of these enemies are tough. They don't really do any damage, so don't worry about it. All right. Dead. Now, yeah, there's nothing over there either, so let's just continue on. Jumping across the strims. Press OK in front of a ladder to grab onto it and then use the directional buttons. Right. That's saying that's okay, there we go. It's pretty self explanatory, but I mean alright, let's go. And we get a, a a potion. Press OK in front of okay, we already know this. We already know this. That's it, right? Alright, let's go. Going down. Now we can save right here. I'm gonna save um, in the second. Uh, on, whatever. What, what's going on? Uh, oh yeah, it's downloading the freaking save files. I think, right? Right? Nope. Okay, there we go. Took a while for some reason, but or not. I can. I have all day, I guess. All right, there we go. But no, I'm gonna save in the save too. Does have a save in the first save, and you know it might show spoilers. So you know, you'll want to show those. All right, now we have two new enemies. Uh, this guy that shoots machine guns, and these two guys that, sh that hit th hit you and shoot little gun laser thingies. Only do like 13 to 11 damage. Not prob no problem. Okay, we're getting close to the limit break or the limit bar thing see down there. Alright, beam gun. Yeah, stoked for the uh, remake, Final Fantasy 7 remake. Hope they don't screw it up. Please hope they don't. I mean, if you're gonna make a remake that, you know, a game of a game that everyone's been asking for years to be remake, please don't screw it up because, I mean, the fans will never forgive you if you mess it up. Alright, I'm gonna save that, actually. For just a little while longer. Or, okay, I can still use magic, though. Save these for, okay, I probably shouldn't. All right, smoke shot, you get to see that. It pretty much just does, okay, it does a bit more damage than the other one. I need to use bolt, because that's effective against you. Oh, okay, I accidentally pressed it, but I didn't use it, because I defeated the enemy, thank goodness. I'm gonna save it because there's a, a fight coming on. Oh snap! Oh, we got back attacked. Great. That means the enemies have the upper hand. If you don't, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a back attack means. But oh, oh crits. Oh, okay, I got a crit the first attack, and now you're getting crits. Crits for days. Or, or I hope not. Please don't. Please don't critical hit me for days. I don't. I do not need critical hits for days. Well, I need it, but the enemies don't. Because, you know, that, that puts me at a disadvantage. Disadvantages are disadvantages. What even is this commentary right now, but... Um... Defeated him. And we've got... Some good... some goodness. Juicy potion goodness. Might use one of those, actually. Please... Oh! Okay, nope. I guess not. Maybe not, because... Or, oh, maybe yes. Oh yes, thank you, game. All right. Okay, I'm gonna use one on Barrett too. All right, now we get the uh, materia, the restore materia, which I'm gonna equip. But no, I can't actually. What am I doing? I can't equip those yet. But when you blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Clyde, you see that bomb? Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta, I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. My, do I even know how to use bombs? Watch out! This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? 
Huh? I heard a strange glowing red voice in my head. And static, too. Draw on Cloud, hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Just, uh, having a mental breakdown. Heads up, here it comes. Alright, and it's boss time, and we're fighting against the Tail Scorpion. Now, search scope, it's scan, it just scans us. I don't think, I don't think it really does anything really, it just, it just shows your, I guess, you know, shows your uh, stats and stuff, but I don't think it really does anything to him. Alright, limit breaks. Boom. Use clouds and barrets. Limit breaks. Once your HP, once you take enough damage and uh, from enemies, you'll and well, every time you take damage from enemies, as you can see right there, or not. Yeah. Okay. Now you can see. Took a second there, but your limit bar goes up, and once you reach full, you can unleash a powerful limit break, which does a good damage, pretty powerful damage against one enemy, or multiple enemies. Some of them do, or maybe just heal. Some of them heal, some of them do damage. Some of them do other things, but, yeah. The ones we have right now just do damage, though. Now this, why, why am I attack? okay. So, should be using Bolt, since, you know, he's weak against Bolt, because he's a giant robot. Alright. Now his tail goes up. Cloud, oh, there it. Be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counter attack with its laser. Laser, right? A lot of people got confused with that. From what I've heard, I didn't get confused with it, but I mean, I'm. It's pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it it could be you know confused because you know like attack while its laser while its tail is up. It'll counter attack. Like it doesn't show. It doesn't say like if you attack while its tears it up while its tail is up. You'll you'll counter attack. It just says attack while its tail is up. So, I mean, yeah, some people could confuse that, but yeah, I, th I think in the Steam version they fixed some of the translation. You know, some of the things that are wrong with it, but not everyone. Everything. No, I I don't know if this was accurate. If you know this, uh, of that message right there, if it was supposed to be spelled that way, but, um, it just, it's, it's kind of confusing a bit. Alright, we're kind of close to another limit break. Scorpion Tail. Alright, defeated him. And there's flashes, lots of flashes. Ooh. Yes. Alright, level up. And we got a salt gun, uh, equipment for Barrett. Alright. Come on, let's get out of here. Now we just gotta escape. Now there's, uh, 10 minutes to detonation. Now we got a little timer up there. It's still around, and it still goes on while you're in the menu, by the way. Yeah, better for him. Uh, not gonna use, uh, uh, ether. Wanna save those. Uh, now we just gotta get out of here. And also save her game. Maybe I shouldn't use cloud saving for this, actually. I might actually turn that off, because, you know, it kinda screws me up a little bit. I mean, it doesn't take that long for it to load, but, you know, it's faster if I just have it straight on my hard drive. But, you know, if something, you know, if it gets, if the save file gets corrupted, then I'll lose it or something, so. I mean, better safe than sorry. I guess. Alright, now, we will still run, in, run into encounters while, you know, the, the time bomb is detonating, or while the, uh, yeah, while uh, the time are still active, and it will still be active inside of battles, so. Try to defeat, you know, uh, hit the enemies with its weaknesses, and try to defeat the enemy fast, because, you know, if you don't, if you take too long, I mean, they give you more than enough time to get out of here. I'm pretty sure you can do this in like five minutes, but or maybe I don't know. But I mean, I mean, they give you a lot of time, so it's not really too much to worry about it. Too much to worry about. All right. Another critical. Wow, getting lots of criticals uh, this episode. Really lucky. All right. More XP and potions. 
And it seems that Jesse is stuck in the railing or whatever. It'll help you out. Grab my pipe. Grab my Popeye arm. You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. Alright. And that was that. I, I don't... I think you can still continue... I don't know, I haven't tried that. Try to test it out for myself, but... I think maybe you can still... Continue on without rescuing her, I'm not sure, but... I don't know, but... I haven't tried it myself, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know if it'll stop you beforehand. I, I might test it out later, maybe. But yeah, all we gotta do is just get out of here. So, get out of here. Alright. I can see they give you a lot of time, like, I mean, you don't really have, I mean, all you have to do is just get to the bridge, and, you know, we only use, like, three minutes, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you, yeah, they give you way more than enough time. Let's go. Alright, go decipher. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I guess it's good, you know, for people who are playing the game for the first time and are getting the hang of it, but, I mean... Now, if you played it more than once, then, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's way more than enough time. You know, probably could do good with maybe eight, five minutes, but, yeah. Now, for this episode, I'm going to be showing the random encounters for the, uh, next episodes. I'm going to be cutting out the, uh, you know, encounters with enemies we've already encountered before, so, yeah. Unless, you know, it's imp like, I, I'm, unless I, I'm gonna get an item from him or something important or special with the enemy or something. But other than that, I'm gonna be cutting out the, uh, battles. For this episode, I'm just gonna keep it as is. Because, you know, kinda get a feel for the game. Now, why do I have that on? What, okay, it's... A. What was that like? Insert or I like switch or something. I forgot what that button was, what that button did, but yeah, I, maybe it was too much to code. But I wish they really could have, you know, just you know, put on the screen like what key have it bind it to. Well, I guess maybe that would have me messed up the text a bit, and you know, like man, like if you had it to shift or something, it'll be like, um. Maybe it'll mess up the text or something, I don't know, but, yeah, like, now, in the Steam version, you can clear, you can kind of see the, the transition between the FMV and, um, the, uh, the, you know, the pre-rendered background, you know, more, you know, more noticeable now that, you know, it's in higher definition. I should keep the planet going at least a little longer, yeah. I might have destroyed some people's homes and destroyed some things along the way, but hey, it's good for the it's, it's for the good of the um, the environment. Okay, now everyone get back. Boom. Yeah, like as you can clearly see it, like in the HD, you know, in high definition now. You know, with the FMVs, it's more blurry, and when you go into the game, boom, it's really sh you know, it's really sharp and. All right, now let's get out of here. I'm devious at Sector 8 Station. Let's put up and get on the train. All right. Hey, it's about your money. Wait till we get back. Hey, I only do this for the money because you know I'm I'm kind of emo a bit and cool. Yeah, but my character slowly develops. Loveless. Uh, punks. Excuse me. What happened? Better get out of here. Nothing, right? Let's say nothing. Hey. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these, do you like them? They're only one gill. I'll buy one. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Now, I think if you do that, just contribute to something later on, which I'll discuss later. But, okay, that's it, so I guess we're gonna move on. Now we're in the plaza area, I guess, with 
not plaza, but you train station. Oh yes, item, potion. Potion, get. Hey, you there. Fight him, because you know, you gotta get that experience. The more the merrier. The more EXP, the merrier. So, let's fight these guys. And criticals, wow, I'm getting lots of criticals today, wow. It's probably gonna activate my limit. Or not. Uh, okay. What the? Hmm. Fight them, because we gotta get the XP. Try to shoot me with your four damage guns. Wow, really effective, guys. Really effective. Doing lots of and more criticals. Wow, I'm getting critical hits up and everywhere. Wow. So many criticals today. It's critical hit Wednesday. It's not even Wednesday. It's Sunday. So, uh... Okay, that probably might... Almost there. Almost to the limit. I might just... Uh, use MP though because you know I want to save uh, I don't think there's any tough enemies up next but uh, fight them but uh, you know I I just like saving it the, the uh, limits right that yeah okay that you know it's great no never mind it's great I'll, I'll use it on you even though I can kill you in one hit plus it it, it like, the more times you use a limit or something of a certain, like, category tier, I guess, it, it, uh, it's kind of, uh, it helps you get the second limit. So, yeah, it's, it's good in a way, though. Either way, it's good, I guess, but, you know, it's, it's, it's better for boss battles when, you know, it's a tough enemy, and you can just, uh, take away a big chunk of their HP with limits. Alright, you can spin your sword around. Potion over there. Hmm. Oh, I'm cornered now. Or, or surrounded. It's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Not today. Because I'm clouded strife. I've got better things to do today. Adios, amigos. Cloud never came. Rest in peace, Cloud. Cloud, think he was killed. No way. Cloud. Cloud. Oh, yep, that's me. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? Well, how the hell would I know? Don't look like a mind reader. If y'all weren't such screw ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ah. Uh. And it's me. Magnificently opening. Or er, coming in. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. But no worries, though. Damn right, you're late. Comes waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Finally, Helvetica ain't told my army. Having everyone worried like that, don't give a damn about no one but yourself. That's right, because I'm Cloud Strife. When you're worried about me. What? Well, that's coming out of your share, hot shot. I only get one less. Wake up. We're moving out of follow me. Jump over. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. Hey, hey, clap, we'll do better next time. Wake me up inside. Careful, I'll shut this. Now it's time for some... Uh, bonding. Right. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. I got a ton of soot on my face, I guess. There you go. Now I'm still, I'm looking cool as ever. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Brownie porn, okay. 
Oh, there I, I don't think there's anything in here, right? Nope. Alright, let's just move on then. Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7 Train Graveyard. Expect the time of arrival, 12.23 a.m. Edgar Standard Time. Not really late. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. This, this is my house, so make yourselves at home. See the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorist bomb number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blown to reactor? Sure put some food into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. Wonder what they'll do next. I wonder if they're here on this train right now. Yeah, I, I wonder. Stop acting like a damn king. Uh, sit down and shut up. You gotta say, Biggs. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday, Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. Oh, oh yes. Please don't bother the other passengers. I, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to talk to her. Hey, Cloud, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. Bonk. Uh, all right. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Well, that's kind of disturbing. Right. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 to uh, 10,000 scale. Top plate is about 50 meters above ground. The main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Well, good to know. There is number 2, number 3, all the way up to the number 8th reactor. The 8 reactors provide uh, Midgar with electricity. Eight dungeons, eight hours. All right. No, that's not this game. Like, imagine if this game was just, you know, eight, eight, eight dungeons and the eight dungeons with the, okay, well, with the reactors. But okay, maybe, yeah, maybe not. But each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. Sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew, look what's next. Look, this is the route that the train is on. Right spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around to the center now. <coughs> Sorry. Each checkpoint is an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. And it's linked up to a central data bank at Shinra headquarters. It's for whisper. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Obviously. Well, speak of the devil. Light means that we're in security I or ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now, what a relief. Look, you can see the surface now. The city have no day or night. The city. Alright. If you look if the if that play weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Hmm. Huh. Never expected to hear that. It's someone like you. I'm just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. That cause of the Yami pizza that people I didn't get to read it. And the city below us is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps you draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Because, I don't know. I, they, just, they like it down here, you know. Eventually waiting for an accident to happen and for the plate to fall down. Don't know, probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know, no one lives in the slums because they want to. Or, or they want to, or whatever. It's like this train. Can't run anywhere except where the rails takes it. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. All right. Ugh. Ugh. 
Oh, no. Yay. Yay. All right. Wait. Jump. All right. Lots of jumping around here. Yo, get over, get over here, y'all, y'all. All right. What do you got to say, man? When you've been at the train, uh, when you've been a train man as long as I have, you see lots of people and lots of lives. People meeting, partying, partying, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get you anymore. This mission must be a success, but don't get lazy now. Right, I'm back. Sorry about the cut there. Um, this mission must be a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still yet to come. But y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Way bigger. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Hut. All right. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we can go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here, and they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? All right. Well, uh. Alright guys, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. Oh yeah, there's also these two guards. What the hell do you want? You know who I am? Can't pass. I got the... <coughs> Sorry. Got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from sneaking in here. Wow, you're great. Damn yeah, right. Waste time talking away like uh, I always say. <coughs> like I always say. But I, uh... Uh... You cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do good this time? You gotta be tough. For them. But I, uh... Alright. I'm gonna end the episode here now, guys, alright? Uh, are you taking a me? Hey now, oops, what on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh, you came to see it too? No, I didn't come to see a wiener. Pull it get away. Alright. Uh, there was a bombing on top. If this player should come down, everyone in the slums is, or is out. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? Yeah. Really huge. Right. That's that's pretty big. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place. But you can come here too if you want. See ya, bro. Ah, thanks. All right, I'm gonna come over here now, not before I save my game. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna end it here for now. Uh, um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this first video. I know it was kind of I'm recording this late at night, like a lot of my other videos. So I'm feeling kind of dead now, and um. I got other stuff to do right now, too. <coughs> other stuff I gotta do now, too, so, you know, not really happy about that, you know, other, un you know, boring stuff, so, yeah, but, um, that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and, uh, Eric Dean's Crazy here, signing off. Stay funky, everyone.